Let's jump into this first story. We got this from TimCast.com. We got a couple things, actually. Quote, unelected world government. Musk further comments on World Economic Forum meeting in Davos. Would be great if someone could compile a game contest of who said the craziest stuff between 4chan and the World Economic Forum. <laughs> I love it. He recently put up this, uh, this Twitter poll. So if you guys are on Twitter, you can go uh, click that no button. The World Economic Forum should control the world. Yes, no. 1.6 million people said uh, have voted. And 13%, so we're, we're looking at like 200,000 people, said yes. You know what, I've been thinking that. a lot about World Economic Forum lately, and Klaus Schwab obsessed with like stakeholder capitalism, shareholder capitalism, evolving the system, the, the economic, and I'm like, you know what he's missing out on is statehood. Like statehood is comes before econo your economic system. Statehood is a concept that exists without economics you don't need and klaus is obsessed all he focuses on is economics and the economic structure of things he's missing out on the political structure of things which is i think paramount is that we have statehood we have local central local government where like you have decentralized structures of authority that's key you're missing, you're missing the point that's not what they want they want centralization they want all the power in their hands they don't want statehood they don't want sovereignty they don't want independence they don't want you being proud of where you're from they want to break you apart they want to play a larger divide and conquer agenda as they take everything else for themselves because how else would they be able to get as rich as they are without them running larger ponzi schemes on everyone else in, in inside of the not, not only the united states but the entire world and the conversations happening at davos i've been paying attention to them they're creepy. They're they're out of the 1984 Orwellian hellscape. You can't even imagine the horrors that these people are describing, and they're cheering it on, talking about it like it's going to be incredible when you guys don't have any red meat, when you have mandatory requirement of 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 making sure that that you are reporting your carbon emissions, making sure that there's going to be regulations on speech, regulations on bitcoins. Uh, there's going to be global cyber attacks. There's going to be you know major attacks against free speech, and they're like, yeah, this is great this is awesome we need central bank digital currencies we need uh places where you can't leave where you're going to be stuck in with 15 minute sustainable communities this is absolutely crazy what they're doing and they deserve to be countered because their policies are becoming law who well, are what, these laws serving what's they're serving What's a 15 minute community? So the, they're testing this actually in the United Kingdom right now. It's where you're going to need permission to cross over from one one neighborhood to another, where everything is 15 minutes uh, inside of your community. So you don't need a car, so you get to walk or you get to uh, ride around in your bike. To have a car and go from one community to another, you're only allowed a certain amount of times to do that. Then you need government permission in order to just travel in your car. And the main idea is to keep you in a prison, to keep you in a grid where you are stuck. And this is a pilot program that's going to be happening in a major UK town in just a few years from now that they're going to be instituting with surveillance cameras, artificial intelligence, facial recognition, plate reading cameras, making sure that you are essentially living in a prison.